Hi, Alize. Hi. How are you? Uh, as good as I can be. Okay. So, Alize, how was your experience producing for the first time? Co-producing with Beeline for the first time. Uh, a roller coaster ride for sure. Achha. I still have the gripes going on. <laughs> okay, so lots of highs and lots of lows. And uh, we were on a beautiful journey. I mean, I knew that we were on to something really big and something really nice because we did shoot in so many beautiful places. So, and the cast was amazing. We had great uh, people, except for one or two. I mean, obviously, I want to chop their heads off right now, uh, for which we had to bear the brunt later on. Um, so, yeah, it was overall a very learning experience, I would say. How did the entire spell of the Yaraway promotions go? Uh, again, a learning experience. The promotions were good, uh, with a bit of, uh, like, I think, hitches and hiccups here and there. Um, this, this place is full of experiences, what can I say? I mean, we had fun, but, you know, not everybody was available at the same time. Uh, people had their own things going on, yet they were trying to stress themselves to help out the movie. Um, so we did it, we actually f uh, focused on going digital more rather than going on ground, uh, which I thought initially was the best way forward because everybody's on their phones all the time. But then I realized that maybe a little bit of that would have helped. Uh, so we, a little too late in the day, we did a few uh, on ground activities. But um, it is what it is, like, you know, you try your best. It was a learning experience for you. Again, everything has been because it's the first time. So, how did you find Pakistanis' work ethic as compared to people dealt with abroad? <laughs> okay. Uh, be honest. Be honest. I think if it, it, it's at zero, okay? So, basically, it's zero. Apart from, of course, a few. There are always good people around. I mean, you cannot just say that uh, as a general comment you cannot just rule everything out for because I have experienced good people as well they're good directors they're good honest people uh, so and I do intend to stick around with those people but generally I think eight out of ten seven out of ten if I'm going to be very uh, positive and say that are are not uh, people to rely on and big companies come on you know we talk about huge company who who just out there like big vultures sitting there to yeah, grab whatever they can. I mean, the industry will definitely not come up like this. You, you cannot survive with just one, one Mala Jat or one London Nahi Jaunga, right? How can you survive? Can the industry, you know, just, just be sitting on the laurels of what La, Mala Jat did in 2022 and the rest of them were big flops? You cannot. Incentivizing the cinemas, the tickets and everything, the whole gamut has to be revamped. As a foreigner dealing with Pakistanis when it came to exhibit your film or market it, what happened with So basically from the word go, I think they, they sell themselves pretty cleverly, okay? So you're basically already feeling comfortable that, yeah, okay, I'm in good hands. So they, pro they over promise and they deliver nothing. Literally, they can be totally um, uh, they will wash their hands off any commitment. Quick example, they say that they have a name. Yes, like we signed with a lot of companies, with different people who are doing this, doing that. I don't want to get into the details. But if you go with record label, ke jayein, aap exhibitors, ke jayein, and you, or when I'm shopping around, to come to the right person, it takes time because you, you're already looked at as a bag of. Um, a bundle of wealth or dollars or uh, with currency just oozing out. They don't look at you as a product, a company, an entity, a human who's trying to help themselves and also um, entertain people and do some uh, clean, tidy and uh, honorable business. So I think that's those ethics are literally missing over here. You know, the, no matter how big they are in the industry, they do not have ethics. I think that's really lacking. On the other hand, of course, I've seen normal, regular people walking around and, and they are um, literally fighting against all odds and they have integrity and they're also uh, professional. It's just that they take, it's taking them so much longer to be shown or to be up in the forefront because they don't have big daddies sitting behind them or people bucking them up.
so i think it's just a terrible thing so not all people are bad but most are unfortunately mm. very well said uh what was the biggest obstacle you thought while making yara way and how was it different from what actually happened the well, what i thought before it happened was the mm. fact that just to get things off the ground basically to to make sure everything is in order like having a line producer and then having the story um then getting the the casting done obviously i was not involved in any of that like i said there were other people doing it so i was also kind of in the blind in in most ways and uh, that is also coming from a lot of inexperience so i think you learn but it's a huge price to pay uh so yeah from the word go there was there were cheaters and then later as well there were cheaters <laughs> surrounded by cheaters <laughs> What do you think of all the leading ladies in the lineup of Pakistani films that just released? Uh I think Sonia Hussain's work is really impressive. Um I think so as as the craft that I've seen, I think Sonia Hussain is definitely on the top. Uh Iman Ali uh, glamour is good. Um and who's the third one we were talking about? Urwa. So, um she's just done a dance, but she's done a fantastic dance. We saw in a in a clip online that you and Urva were sharing some space. Oh yeah. What was that all about? So um we were for a photo shoot and um she was doing her photo shoot just before her her premiere or press release one of the events that they were doing yeah. And uh, yeah we just I think exchanged some pleasantries and that's about it. What else you want to know? How did you find her as a person? Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, baklava. <laughs> Do you believe there's life on other planets? Uh I would rather uh say yes than because I I always believe in the possibility of things rather than the impossibility. So if you tell me there is a ghost in this house, I would rather believe you than not believe you because I'm at least on the safe side of the this you know the whole thing. So, yeah. If you had a choice to take a film off the cinema, which one would it be? Touch button, Zarar or Yara Way? Touch button. If you had a choice to not pass the censor of one movie, which one would it be? Touch button, Zarar or Yara Way? You know what I'll tell you what these are all very tricky questions because and and they're not supposed to be offensive and although I said Tej Button my previous answer I I think all the movies should be there why should they not be there the cinema is not going to survive hello Which movie would you give the best movie award to Tej <laughs> Button Zarar or Yara Way There's no Mola Jat in there so Zarar uh, so would you call Yara Way So you have to pick an option. Who would you rather kill? Option A, Sami Khan. Option B, Feroz Khan. Option C, Imran Ashraf. Feroz Khan. Who would you rather marry? Sami Khan, Feroz Khan, Imran Ashraf. Hi hi hi. Sami Khan and Imran Ashraf. Imran Ashraf. Imran Ashraf. Who would you friend zone? Sami Khan, Feroz Khan, Imran Ashraf. friend zone friend zone hmm well the answer is clear right sami <laughs> mahira khan mehvish hayat and saba kamar i want to shoot you who's overrated mahira khan well, who mehvish hayat and who else saba kamar wow they're all very very uh, who's brilliant overrated out of all three that's my face for <laughs> i don't want to give the answer who's underrated None of them are underrated. They're all getting what what they're good at. So I think they're reaping the fruits of their labor. Who's not an actor? Um none of them. They're all very good actors. Do you think after your experience here that Pakistani cinema has a lot of potential or will it die down eventually and why? Oh gosh, it's I hate to be pessimistic, but I think Realistically if you look at this situation right now I don't know tomorrow what's going to 
change. If Lashari has the stamina and, and the means, he might be probably sustaining the entire cinema by bringing in 20 projects in a year, then yeah, it will sustain. But from the looks of it, nope. How can you survive? What is one advice you would give to many people looking to act or make their own films in the industry? What advice? Pack your bags and go. Literally, literally. There are better pastures. Um, or, or attach yourself. I think I'll tell you from what I've learned. So I'm in the game and I would not want to quit because I'm not a quitter. So I'm going to attach myself to the good people. They might be far and few, but I would attach myself to those people and obviously not repeat the same mistakes that I have done in, in this project. So definitely there are, I, I can handpick people and I know quite a few. Then I am already on to my next project. By the way, guys. Is that an official announcement? That is an official announcement and watch out for it okay yep. okay so on a scale of one to ten what would you uh how would you rate your acting skills from one to ten from one to ten i think i'm still learning a lot but i think i would say four or five four or five to be realistic how would you rate yarave from one to ten all right so realistically i have to rate it uh, i would say at seven six or seven simply because it lacked um, quite a few things that I would have probably um, not wanted it to lack. Uh, just because it, needs to t it needed to touch the pulse. Okay, so let me elaborate here. It has everything going for it. It has the music, it has the actors, and the performances are amazing. If you're looking for stars, and you only have three, four in this country, right? So I think as artists, they bring in a beautiful um, treasure of craft, right? So we have the music, we have the landscape, the visuals, everything is in place. Story and the scripting was a bit weak and I understand that and of course we've learned from that. But as a chick flick, as a simple watch, I think it still is a brilliant movie. It is not something that you, you, you should miss. It is something you must go and watch and experience the whole journey. It, it's, it's better than many, honestly. What is the biggest blunder you've ever made? Trusting people, trusting the wrong people. My, my drive and my passion to just do it is what actually got me to a place where I made the mistakes and trusting people too quick and not doing due diligence. I think inexperience you can put it down to. I met some good um, directors, some, the person who did our song, the um, Ishq Tamasha, of course, so a lot of faith in him. And I think that would be a good positive takeaway. And um, I would say, I, I think as a human being and a passionate director, I would say definitely uh, Manish has done a brilliant job uh, considering the circumstances that he had. I think for sure I've made a, made a very good uh, connection with him as a person. Um, his, he's, got, he's very good at his craft. Um, and uh, I think overall the people who were attached to the movie towards the end were and who sailed through the tough times have always been in, they've, they've been a positive uh, effect on us and I, I think that's a team I would like to stick to. What is the most hurtful thing you heard somebody say to you or about you and how did you handle it? Hurtful? Uh, gosh, nobody has yet said anything hurtful as such, but of course, during the shoot, there was somebody who was on the crew and uh, he was not a director and that was disturbing to me and then I put them in their place and he, he is the one who was trying to direct me. Oh, SHL Keniao, SL. And I just turned and I said, who is directing over here? And then of course, that was a shut up call to him. But so I think there are some people who are just wanting to be somebody or want to be in authoritative position which they're not so you have to just how are the services here of agencies and PR oh lord uh, agencies there are some good ones some not good at all okay. you know there's a whole plethora uh, you, uh, that's everywhere right so I think over here I've learned one thing it's who you know that matters you cannot just go to a agency and say, okay, here's my money, look after me. 
Oh no, they will take your money, the bag is behind them, and then they're out from the back door. And you're like searching, where did the person go? No, definitely not. Uh, it's definitely not worth it. You've got to first come down here. For that matter, most industries, you should come down, stick around, understand the whole um, process, and understand the people and then do it because the learning is too expensive. I mean, how many universities I would have done in this? <laughs> so yeah, I think the cost is too much to, to bring in a huge project. Yeah, you can, now that I'm better informed, I can go for smaller numbers and better product. Yeah. What taught me more hands down, the movie, for sure, for sure. It taught me a lot about life, trusting people, um, the technicalities of uh, the entire A to Z, uh, of making the movie so in theory what you do is just not going to help you enough you've got to really experience the whole thing so and not wearing too many hats that's not the right way to do it